Good morning on this day. <sighs> I feel really bad this morning. Just bad taste in my mouth physically. Uh, bad anxiety in my stomach, as always. Uh, kind of tired. But I got up and I filmed uh, a dream summary. And I could barely remember any of my dreams. But it wound up being a 20-minute discussion. So I wonder, what do I do with those things? Do I... I mean, I'll, I'm putting, I'm uploading it to YouTube as we speak, so I want to just keep getting things going. I was up till two in the morning last night posting clips and stuff from, from that day, because I was like, oh, I just want to post a quick video of, uh, or a quick photo of, of the Lunar New Year dinner, and then I'm like, well, I'll post the two little clips, but then they've got to go on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and TikTok, so it's a bad situation. Uh, but I'll post that, and maybe go check it out on YouTube if you have 20 minutes to listen to me ramble. But instead of ruminating on the past and regretting losing all the women I dated, and oh my god, there were so many great ones. Anyways, you can watch the video about that. Um, but uh, the cleaning lady is coming, and, and so i got to tidy up my room here so they can vacuum or whatever. They haven't been here for a month. And then I think I'll go for a jog because I haven't been outside for a month. And, uh, and Gail wants to call me to just go over the brief uh, for naming that travel company. And then what else? I'm, at 4 o'clock, I'm doing my call with uh, my accountability group for the entrepreneurship class. And uh, maybe I could visit Charles at some point. I know my aunt wanted my help scanning some stuff. I think my sister wanted to come over. Um, so hopefully I can... And I want to start getting, uh, you know, videos up to YouTube, like the, the skating one on YouTube, so that I can send it to the National Capital Commission. Lots going on. So uh, what are you up to today? All right, it took me a while to tidy up the apartment, but or the apartment, my basement room. But look how tidy I made it. I put all my papers in the box, and now I'm going to take them out of the box and spread them out again. Uh, the desk is tidy. And then the cleaning lady and her son came down, and uh, they were standing outside the door when I opened the door. Uh, and they're like, you're done? I'm like, all right, just give me a second. And then I had to clean my bathroom a bit, because I don't like it too gross for the cleaning people. Anyways, um, then I went for a jog, and... And my parents are like, well, are you, maybe we should, why don't we take you to Charles's store and you can drop off the, 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 the tablets and then you can run back. I'm like, I don't even know if he's there. And, and I realized with my phone reset, he's not even in my phone now. I don't know why. Anyways, went for the jog, tried filming some skaters and just taking off the gloves. My hands started to freeze too much. So that was ridiculous. Um, but I got warmer as it, it went along. And then um, I filmed a cozy little street. I'll show you that. And it became a nine minute video. All right, I joined my, well, let me think. I had a shower, then I joined my aunt and my parents for rice pudding that my mom made. Uh, I guess out of the rice from, uh, was it Lunar New Year yesterday? Gosh, the days all just blend together, right? Um, and then uh, I was gonna, I was like, mm, I'm a bit hungry. Maybe I'll make a smoothie, because I haven't had a smoothie. At this point, it was like a quarter to four, and my mom's like, you don't have time for a smoothie. You've got a four o'clock Zoom call. Just make a sandwich. I'm like, all right, I made a sandwich. Uh, but then I uh, I called Gail, and she called me back, um, and we talked about uh, just briefing the, the name uh, for the travel site, and she was like, you know, I'm really excited to work with you, and I've got so much business coming in, we can pin choose. Like, if there's a certain kind of project you want to work on, um, you know, you can do that. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of fun. That's good. Then around 4.10, I joined the Zoom call late for the accountability group for this uh, made to do this course I'm in and um, it was good all the women were talking about what they're working on and they're all coming from different places like one of them wants to run an oyster shack of some sort I missed her talk uh, other people aren't really sure what to do but you know uh, they organized somebody's closet once and maybe people would like that and another person wants to be like a coach and so yeah it was all very inspiring he's looking for their their thing uh, and that went for two hours and you know, at the end I was like I don't know, I don't know what to talk about, but they, they persisted and they got some stuff out of me and I talked about, it. I don't know, I like doing all these things. They're like, well, you just got to pick one thing. So anyways, I'm going to try running the Instagram course or just help people in the, in the group with that. Um, and then what did we decide I should focus on? I don't know, we, we didn't decide. They're like, you got to pick something. So I got to do my homework for the course tonight. I'm going to go through all of that. And then also one thing, I mentioned how it's so hard to focus. Like I've got all these emails coming in, all these newsletters and uh, Stephanie said, uh, you know what, maybe you need an office day for Josh, like it's a Josh business day, I think she called it, just to go through all your emails, delete, you know, delete everything, uh, unsubscribe to newsletters just so you can then focus, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, yeah, 
see, I'm back up to 695 emails in my inbox. Like, okay, I just need to plow through that. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I still have to pay taxes, like all this stuff. Um, so I'm just going to, uh, I think I'll do that now for a little bit. Uh, what else do I need to do? Do the homework for the thing. Oh no, I need to get yesterday's podcast up. Okay, I should do that first, but I also need to get uh, the YouTube video of the skaters up on YouTube. Oh my God, oh my, okay, just... And here's, oh, here's my latest regret. I just regret not telling more stories. Like somebody just asked me in the Facebook dating app, she's like, yeah, I want to hear that story about how um, you were on Judge Karen's court. She must have Googled me or something. And then, or maybe I mentioned it in my bio. Uh, and uh, and I was like, yeah, let me find it. And I, I couldn't find the uh, the story. I'm like, maybe I never put it on YouTube because I know I told, told the story on a CBC radio show. But then it occurred to me, yeah, thank God I've got some of these stories because I saw some of the other ones about uh, you know, writing a letter from camp or the guy Grant that was bothering me when I was 18 and stuff. And I'm like, if I tried to think of those stories now, I probably couldn't think of all the details. So even 10 years ago, it's good that I told the story. And I'm like, why didn't I write down more? Why didn't, why isn't I writing in a diary every day, recording these stories? Maybe just, maybe just a cassette tape every day sitting there going, Hey, this is my day. Or yeah, like I'm sure people do that, like as an audio diary. Or, or something, and then you can go back and go, oh, yeah, because you can't, your brain doesn't remember everything. Anyways, I can't spiral about that now. Um, let's kind of focus and do what I can right now, right? Let's live in the moment. 12.53 p.m. on Saturday, February 13th, 2021. It's minus 14 degrees outside, uh, but it feels colder. My hand is outside my glove, so I can press record, and my fingers are already freezing. So we're going to... All right, I'm going to start filming little clips of things that just give me an emotional reaction, uh, hopefully a pleasurable one. Um, I'm just out for my jog, and I jogged past the street, and I often look down the street here because I think I've seen people like moving. Before. All right, it's dark here because this light bulb is dead, and so I've brought my little little lamp there that came with my portable voice acting booth. Sorry, I just got to get my my melatonin. It's my favorite part of the night because it's chocolatey and chewable. And so I get a little dessert treat that helps me go to sleep. Uh, it'll probably do some serious damage to me because I don't think you're supposed to be taking melatonin regularly. It's like an occasional thing if you're like a... Sorry, I'm just going to try to cover the little charging light on the laptop to not disturb my sleep. I'm a very delicate sleeper. And I just read a newsletter. <clears throat> it was talking about sleep hygiene. It's like you're not supposed to be on the computer for an hour before bed and you should make sure the room is very cool which I've done um anyway so I was trying to go through the emails and then it was like nine o'clock and some she video called from the Philippines and and uh, I was like okay you know what I'm just gonna go through my emails I'll message you when I'm ready for bed or whatever uh and then I and I told her I said I you know I should just go to bed at nine so I can get up at six in the morning and work and then somehow, what is it, like after midnight now? I don't know what happened. Because it was going to be great. I was going to go to bed at 9. I was going to get up at 6, do all this work. My sister was going to come over in the morning. Uh, I'm so, so... Well, it's the same thing I've been saying for years. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I can't try it. Just one night. Just go to bed at 9 and not be in a panic to fall asleep and just know that I'll fall asleep by 10 and just try it once. Just once. I've got so much on my list to do tomorrow. Like... A, I've got to upload the podcast and get that video up for the canal and uh, like it just and I, I'm in this panic. I'm always like, oh my god! Like and I'm like, what, what? Like what's my rush? I don't have anything. I don't have a job or a family or a home. Like just do it. Like just sit down for three days and just do nothing but look at that computer. So I don't know what my issue is. Uh, I mean, I, at least I fixed my phone. Like I can use Facebook on it now. So. I guess I'll try again in the morning, and uh, I don't know. There's lots of speed dating tomorrow. It's Valentine's Day, so there's one at 2, there's one at 7, there's one at 8.30. I think there's something else at 9. It's like, this is why you should have a, a wife or a spouse, because then you don't have to waste time dating. Imagine how much you could accomplish if you weren't wasting time on dating. Or maybe I should just work on my stuff, get rich, and then the women will come. Oh, they will come. Okay, Kiki, I'm glad you're working. Weren't you taking a break from work or something? There was something different. <clears throat> but uh, you're working, you're having fun. I love it. Ooh, that sounds even better than Netflix and chill. I love groceries. I remember uh, with my girlfriend Jen in the small town, I think we got groceries before going to a cottage, and I just... Oh, having a woman to get groceries with, so much fun.
Well, I guess that's a step up from watching the paint drying. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one who lives alone. Although I don't live alone, I live with my parents, which is kind of worse. I guess, for them, maybe? I don't know. I'm in the basement alone. Anyways, I should bring down some drinks and have some laughs. I should broadcast that.